this is Mr. Aiden. This is the AP Chemistry 2025 free response question number three from the exam that just happened in May. It starts off with white phosphorus, which is composed of P4 molecules, and we have to finish our Lewis dot structure. What do we do with a Lewis dot structure? We count the number of valence electrons. We count the number of atoms. Five valence electrons for each phosphorus, four atoms, 20 total valence electrons. We've used in the bonds, there was used 12 valence electrons that were used. And so there's eight left over. How are we going to distribute eight electrons over four atoms? Two on each. So one unshared pair on each phosphorus atom right there. Let's go to problem number B. Problem number B uh, gave us the reaction, the balance reaction, P4 solid plus five oxygen gas molecules gives you P4O10 solid. The entropy is negative. We have to use particle level reasoning. So the entropy is decreasing because there's less dispersion of particles. One mole of solid and five moles of gas are producing one mole of solid. And so the delta S is negative. Then they ask about a delta G equals delta H minus T delta S problem. We have to reason it out. We know it's favorable, so the delta G is negative. The delta H, they told us, is negative, the enthalpy which drives the reaction, the entropy we know is negative. And the negative delta G is driven by the negative enthalpy, not by the entropy. Since negative T negative is always a positive value, the student's claim is correct. And then we go to a calorimetry problem. You can see we're going to do this in a calorimetry, in a calorimeter vessel. They want to find the Q, the heat released during the experiment in kilojoules. And it says, assume that the specific heat of the solution. When it says the solution, we want to use the mass of the whole solution, which is 100.1 grams. And we're adding the water and the P4O10. The specific heat of water is 4.18. The change in the temperature is 0.38 degrees Celsius. That gives us 159 joules that are released of heat or 0.159 kilojoules that are released. Problem number two is asking us to then calculate the enthalpy. We want to look at 0.100 grams of P4O10. We divide by its molar mass and we get 3.52 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of P4O10. Now we're looking for the enthalpy of the reaction, so let's come back to the reaction. Look at the reaction. The reaction says one mole of P4O10 solid is in the reaction, which means if there's one mole, we don't have to do that molar ratio right there. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. So the delta H for the reaction, we take the 0.159 kilojoules, which was released. Release means negative. We divide by the number of moles in the reaction, and we get negative 452 kilojoules per mole of the reaction. And we have to include our sign. Since the temperature is increasing, it's exothermic, it's negative. And then it says the chemist weighed out some more P4O10, but it, some of it's stuck and wasn't transferred. So that means less moles of P4O10. If you react with less moles of P4O10, then there's going to be less heat that is produced because of the enthalpy there. And if less heat is produced, then the change in temperature would be less than the first trial. Then we go to a Hess's law. Hess's law, we're going to take a look at uh, unique things in the reaction. Look at equation three. Look at the P4 solid and look at equation five. It's one fourth of P4. So we have to multiply by one fourth or divide by four, however you want to take a look at it. Look at equation four. Look at the PCL5. There's one mole of PCL5. In the products, in equation five, there's one mole of PCL5. In the products, we keep that the same. So we're going to multiply the delta H1 by one-fourth, or divide by four, that's negative 287. The delta H2, we keep the same. We add those two together in Hess's law of heat summation, and we get negative 375 kilojoules per mole for equation five. Let's go to part F, part F. They give us an equilibrium here. And each particle represents one atmosphere. So I'm counting particles. There's six chlorine gases, which means that's six atmospheres. There's two PCL3s, which means two atmospheres. Four PCL5s, four atmospheres. We put it in the equilibrium expression. Four divided by two divided by six. And we get 0.333 for the Kp. Now, the second part says 
What's going to happen to the Kp if we increase the temperature? Well, take a look at the reaction. It's an exothermic reaction. When we increase an exothermic reaction, when we increase the temperature of an exothermic reaction, it shifts the reaction to the reactants, to the left, which means the denominator of the K value is getting bigger. If the denominator is getting bigger, the Kp overall will decrease. And that is question number three. Check out my other videos. Check out MrRaden.com. See you guys. Bye.